Fear of death. Tunubu bribe Northern Group to withdraw and destabilize August 1st protest. IPOP exposed. I know say Tunubu will take Tunubu will take this move because um since he has been talking and talking and talking nobody is listening to him everybody is just looking at him on the head the, uh, he, he, he first uh, said please 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 that they should be they should uh, become that is working on their uh, grievances. He also pleaded to meet up with their demands and said all kind of things, but they never listened to him. So then he decided to take this move. But do you think that this move he has taken is the best? Listen to the voice of those who have already gotten themselves involved in this protest and then we said no going back no going back no going back <laughs> nigerians now fear fear let's quickly just go straight to the content this is today's news fear of arrest the coalition of Northern Youth Leader Forum, CNYLF, has recently faced allegations of being recruited by the Bolatubu administration to disrupt the upcoming and bad government Nigerian protest, said for August 1st. This protest aimed to confront the government's perceived feelings and the worst in economic situation in the country. According to our reporters, members of the CNYLF have received a normal sum of 1,500 protests. The strategic move is purportedly designed to give the impression that Northern Youth no longer endorse the mass action. Thus, undermining the protest legitimacy. During a press conference in Abuja, Montula Mohammed Gamji, the national president of CNYLF, openly criticized the protest organized, alleging they do not have Nigerian best interest in heart. Despite his condemnation of the protest leader, Mohammed conceded that the Tunubu administration has caused significant sufferings and poverty since coming into power. These acknowledgments have led to the question regarding the sincerity of CNYLF. Statements and their apparent alignment the government. Other investigations have uncovered that the CNYLF members were not alone in receiving financial incentives. It was reported that government officials attempted to bribe other Northern Youth leaders to derail the planned protest. A participant's Facebook post revealed Northern Youth Leaders invited me for a meeting at Oya Continental Hotel Zone 4 in Abuja at the end of the meeting. 1,500 was given to each of us, stating there will be no protests. Impossible. Impossible, my people. I tell you, impossible. Well... Um, Tunubu is this kind of person. See, Tunubu is this kind of person that can give you 
everything to get what he wants. And once you get what you want, you are completely on your own. See what he did during the um, election. After he won the election, all those who stood for him, you know, who fought for him with their lives on, on the line, all of them, he lettered them aside. He dismissed them. He pretended they are no longer existing. And he's made every one of them to suffer. So, fellow Nigerians, use that election period as an example. And make sure Tinubu does not succeed. I am telling you this for real. All right, um, dear people, how they listening to us through this very channel. It's been wonderful having you once again. Please um, don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos.